after reviewing that last video I just wanted to make sure I didn't confuse you when I said that was the same as a temperature controlled switch so let's take a look at this uh, low pressure switch here this switch opens on a pressure drop and it opens at 40 psi or below so at 40 psi 39 38 this switch is open and it closes at 80 psig or above and unlike the temperature switches we looked at those they have an opening or closing pressure and then a range a pressure switch is going to have opening and closing pressures so when you look at these you're going to be looking for that these dashed numbers right here and these are called the cut in and cut out pressures so again on this one the cut out pressure where it's going to open the switch or cut the circuit out is 40 psig and the cut in pressure or where that switch reconnects is at 80 psig now let's take a look a little bit more detail as to what happens here so if the system is operating at 100 psig and it begins to fall to 80 to 70 to 60 to 50 and it hits 40 psig and then it start continues to fall at 40 psig it's going to cut out it's going to open up turn off whatever it's controlling and then once that is cut out we're at the cutout point it will it will remain cut out until the pressure rises back up to 80 psig so if it's at 40 psig and everything seems to settle down and the pressure starts to come up at to 50 it's still cut out it goes to 60 it's still cut out it goes finally hits 80 and at that point at 80 psig it cuts cuts the circuit in and re-energizes everything so as it rises from its cutout temperature to the cut-in temperature, there's a little bit of a dead band here of, of 40 psig, and the same thing when it's at 80, there's, and it begins to fall. The system will continue to run. It doesn't cut out until it hits 40. So there's that 40 psig, somewhat of a dead band right here as it rises and falls to the cut-in cutout pressure. Now, if it's a safety control like this low pressure control, it should never be in the cutout condition and if it is that indicates that you're having a problem with the system and I hope that ex cleared everything up on the pressure switches and gave us a little bit more detail on what you're looking for uh, once you are checking out a circuit that has a high or low pressure cut in cut out switch